Rittenhouse Square is a long way from the beautiful sandy beaches of California. Nobody knows that better than this guy. I lived within about uh, 25 minutes from one of the best beaches in Northern California. I could uh, drive across Golden Gate Bridge whenever I wanted to. Sitting on a park bench enjoying the serenity and softness of a spring day is so far removed from the bloody battles of the NFL. And yes, the same guy has experienced both extremes. Very brutal game. Back in the mid 70s, Mike Barilla played one of the sport's toughest positions in front of arguably the league's toughest fans. This West Coast All-American came to Philadelphia, bringing his long-haired Stanford looks with him. That playboy image didn't play out that well here. West Coast ain't Philly, and it was very easy to leave uh, the world that I uh, lived in there uh, 30 years ago. His three seasons with the Eagles were hardly memorable. He barely completed just over half of his passes and won less than half the games he started. And whatever the NFL spotlight was, for Mike Barilla, it was just a blur. The interesting thing about my memory is I remember personal things that happened uh, during the five years that I played uh, pro football. Uh, for whatever reasons, I don't remember a whole lot about the actual playing of the game. I left at the height of my career, and what I felt the Lord wanted me to do was to leave and not look back. I'm going to do the, my uh, first scene, which is... A few blocks uh, from Rittenhouse Square, and 35 years removed from running his last play, Barilla is now starring in one. There I was, uh, a long-haired hippie quarterback who had stumbled upon a Godfather movie set where everybody looked like they were with the Mafia. Away from the money and far from the fame, Marilla performs now on a small stage in Center City, it's but preparing months. much like he did before Daniel every Stewart. NFL game. Right. And then you oh, that's true. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. Artistic director okay. Daniel Student helps with the game plan, but Marilla is clearly that, calling okay, the that's shots. Really good. You really like that trip, don't you? Yeah. And I think that's actually the way to look at it. Is that. See if you can build it's going from the one culture to the other culture. His one-person performance is a trip back in time, a replay of his playing days with teammates. We'll be seeing you around, Mr. Carmichael. An alcoholic for a team owner. He would fly his helicopter, which was shaped and painted like uh, an eagle's helmet. A championship-starved city and the lingering side effects of a brutal sport. A concussion is kind of like the end of a bad dream. There was just a sense that this has been home for him for a long time ago, and he, then he disappeared from that home, and he needed to be away from that home, both football, both the city of Philadelphia, and now he's actually coming back home to share this story. There's two types of playwrights. One is a playwright who entertains people. The other type of playwright is someone who writes perhaps about things that the audience does not want to hear about and to a certain extent confronts the audience. And I'm the second type of playwright. I'm having a blast, this is great. On stage, Barilla well, is a rookie, and, and he likes it that way. No longer behind center, but rather front and center, perhaps exposed, but telling a story that might help you see the other side of an athlete whose playbook is now a revealing look at life inside the game. I'm enjoying becoming a public figure so much more this time than I did last time.